Hello Chronic Crafter Buds! Today I'm going to show you how I made this rock. Well, I didn't make the rock. I just painted on it. But anyways. It's cute and funny, perfect for your garden or your doorstep. So let's get at it. So your first step is to go outside and find a rock. If you don't live anywhere where there's rocks usually around, apparently you can buy them in stores too, so maybe try that. But anyways, I wandered around this beautiful landscape and found this rock. It was a flat surface, well semi-flat because it's round because it's still rock, but it was smooth so it was easy to paint on. But before any painting could happen, I gave it a little bath in the river to get any sand or dirt off. My best friend's dog kept thinking I was going to throw the rock for him and I was like, dude, I can't throw you a rock. This isn't a good idea. Before we left, we did some rock stacking and then I got home to paint my rock. So here I am outside. I grabbed myself a pencil. This looks like a stick, but I swear it's a pencil. So first you're going to write on one side, turn me over with a little arrow. So I have this old pen that I've used to graffiti on rocks before. You just shake it up for a little bit and then you just write on stuff with it. But unfortunately mine was old and shitty so it was all dried out and caused me lots of frustration so I had to change my plan. So since my pen idea didn't work I decided to use some white paint and paint brushes. I also have this Krylon spray paint sealant so I can put it outside and the letters on it will stay nice and clean and won't get worn off or whatever. Craft hack, use your old Starbucks lid as a paint palette because apparently you don't have one. Okay, time to get painting. Okay, all done painting that first side. Now it's time to let it dry and go have a munchie break. I made myself a grown up grilled cheese sandwich. So after a little bit, my paint on my rock is dry. I'm gonna flip it over and then write on it, you just took orders from a rock. Are you stoned? Question mark. So here I am painting that on here. And I also added a couple dots at the end of the sentence, just cause. And now onto the second line. So are you far? I didn't let my paint dry enough before I started working on the next line. So if you run into this problem, a little spit and a little scratching is usually enough to make it kind of okay or okay enough. So on with the rest of the sentence. I ended up making the few dots a bit bigger to try and hide my mistake. Shit happens. So next you're gonna erase off all the pencil that you didn't paint over, even though you should have tried to use that as an outline. So now I'm outside to apply the coat of sealant to the first side of my rock. While I was shaking on my spray can, I took a moment to look up and just appreciate how fucking beautiful out it is. I love springtime. Cool, so there's my rock spray painted. I'm gonna leave it to dry for a little bit and then spray paint the other side. What is this rock? It has a message. Turn me over, it says. Okay. You just took orders from a rock. Now are you stoned? Ha 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 ha. What a pun. And a dumb question. Of course I'm stoned. Thanks for dropping by and watching this week's video. Be sure to follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I think that's everywhere I am. Anyways, much love. Stay stony.